One second while I do some maths. Yes. You have f five fucking Digimon in play. Um, I do. <laughs> I mean, are you asking because you have the Death X Mon in it? <laughs> don't, don't do that to me, Pete. Just throw it down if you got it. Maths is hard. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gents. Well, um, our winning streak is over. Pete beat us last week. Uh, I think it's fair to say he did so in fairly convincing fashion. I was not expecting that to be the case because uh, the Jasmon starter deck is much newer. I thought it, the power creep would maybe help to make up for the fact that, you know, it is still a starter deck. Uh, the rest of the pieces aren't really good outside of the main line, but oh boy, Pete just, Pete cleaned my clocks. Uh, and particularly, you know, I was disappointed about the level 7 that I managed to get access to and the fact that it did not show up uh, when I needed it to. And honestly, this could have saved me. Uh, Pete's Rookie Rush game just really was more than the Jessmon deck could handle, and this honestly could have saved my life. Uh, the fact that the nice level 7 alternate art that I pulled uh, just didn't do anything. Oh, it breaks my heart. I gotta be honest, this deck is not in good shape. Uh, it still does not have the pieces I think it needs to realistically keep up with where Pete's deck is right now. Uh, I just cannot consistently find my way to a level six in testing. Uh, and by the time that I do, it's not doing enough damage uh, to basically let me recover and deal with the Hercules Kabuterimon that's gonna kill me the turn afterwards. Uh, so I am at a bit of a loss right now. I'm thinking maybe it might just be worth it to go back to Jessmon this week. I'm up in the air about it. I, I think there's potential here. I really think this card alone can do so much for our chances, but I also think that uh, with access to some of the other red cards that I have in my larger card pool, maybe there's a way to make Jessmon a little bit more consistent uh, and hopefully get to the big game-winning stack that I at least managed to get one time uh, fairly early on. But Boy, it's going to depend on the pulls, uh, and we don't have access to victory packs this week, so I gotta hope whatever I get in my eight packs uh, gives me a little bit of breathing room <laughs> as far as uh, as far as the deck here is concerned. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, I guess we're slumming it in red for another week, but uh, we'll see. Let's crack open the packs and figure out what we've actually got to work with. All right, everybody. We're just gonna get right into this. Um, basically, we have two goals going into this pack opening here. We either need to pull some additional All Force support, so the OG All Force would be nice, or maybe an Aero Vidramon from BT 1.5 to replace the one that's been limited, or we pull some additional Imperial Dramon support, Pile Dramon, Dino Beamon, maybe uh, the green Imperial Dramon if we can get it, uh, you know, or just grab some Vmons and all the other general goodness in here. Uh, basically, I just want to see what I can still get out of this. Uh, I'll have one pack left of 1.5 after opening these guys up, but uh, yeah, this is basically the plan. Uh, I want to just go right in. I want to pull <laughs> whatever I can and see if we really are going to lean into either all four or Imperial Dramon. Uh, so hey, without further ado, let's get cracking because I'm not going back to this guy this week. All right, I'm just gonna turbo through these, man. All right, we've got Beast Cyclone, Gargomon, Armadillomon, Marimon, Arukenimon, Mummymon, Argomon, Terriermon, Delicate Plan, Vikemon, Phoenixmon, Glorious Burst. Not off to a good start, I can tell you that. Can you hear the salt? All right. Out of my way. All right, got Arctic Blizzard, Kunamon, Not Palmon, Gargomon, Deathbraid Blaster, Mummymon, Vorbomon, Greymon. Oh, there's something golden at the back there. Gatomon, Upamon, Ragnalort. <sighs> no. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's our second alternate art for the set, uh, which means we're not pulling uh, the green dragon mode, I don't think. That is a really nice card. That is a really nice pull. Not for the series, though. Not unless we're suddenly going to start playing Ragnalordmon. Um, but we saw how well playing uh, basically just two theme decks uh, that were not blue up against Pete actually worked out. So, yeah, not about that. <laughs> Argomon. Okay, we got another Vmon. That's good. Uh, Positron Laser is nice as well. Uh, 
might come in handy if P keeps going wide. Yes, HPD, okay, cool. And I think there's something interesting under there, but this is really good because it'll let us go into fighter mode for a lot cheaper. Uh, so I don't know if we'll put this in right now, but great. Uh, another Mimi is nice and then shine Greymon. Okay. <laughs> I mean, fine, you know. Shine Greymon is Shine Greymon, I guess. But we just, oh God, we need, we need something more here, you know? We really need another All Force. We need some really good blue support if we can get it, but we're just not, we're not seeing it. Okay, third Davis. I am happy about that. Running three of these uh, is perfect, and now I don't have to open up another starter deck to get them. So this is great. Okay, let's just let's just keep powering through, guys. I don't really want to see the third Ken. <laughs> that would be a bit much. Um, but let's see. Okay, that's great. That helps our consistency so much and makes this basically worth it. And there's something shiny at the back there too. Let's just power through. Not good. Not good. Ah, Blitz Greymon. We're just burning through our supers, guys. We've got three packs left. I'm not liking the odds. This is not. This is not really shaping up the way I wanted it. But you know what? The Davis makes me feel a little good about things at least. Uh, the Ragnalordmon though, that that pull really sucked. That's taking the wind out of my sails right now. Ludomon. I mean, I guess if we want to... Oh, okay. Piledramon and Mastu. <laughs> We're hitting super after super. Um, not the Demi Vmon we want. The Ludomon is interesting. We're pulling a lot of Ragnalordmon support, but I'm not, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to open up the two starter decks next week and try to face Pete down and his hybrids with Ragnalordmon. It's just not, it's not going to happen, guys. Ugh. Probably not much to look forward to in here now, right? I mean, we pulled most of our supers, I'm sure. Goldramon, Gigimon, Yashikumon. This is not great. And last pack, at least for this week, possibly ever a 1.5 if it keeps disappointing me like this. But let's see. Can I get another Dino Beamon? Can I get another Paledramon? Can I just get an All Force, please? <laughs> Shukamon, yeah, poo. Poo is what the packs are right now. Okay, there's something shiny back there. Penguinmon, Zubaigermon, Greymon, Nyaromon, Argomon. No! Guys, look at all these supers. These are beautiful cards. I can't... I can't do anything with these. Uh, I mean, I guess eventually when we get uh, Dino Beamons, like more of them, we can have a green top end, I suppose. But it's just piercing on 11k. Like, this is not impressive. I already own most of these cards, too. Like, this is nice. This is a really nice pull, but... Ah, uh, that is thoroughly disappointing. So, really, get another X Vmon. We get this Vmon. We get a Davis, which is cool. The Pyeldramon is great, because at least now we have another target for Imperial Dramon to Digivolve onto. This is decent going into fighter mode, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. That was a bit of an anticlimactic finish, but, I mean, we got to make do with what we've got, right? There's really nothing else in here, I think, on reevaluation that we can... Uh, no just unsuspense but you have to play something that basically plays into what pete wants to do that's not a good demi vmon those are all vanillas this is the only thing about opening up the set there's a lot of junk there is a lot of junk i mean the extra mimi could be interesting if we want to double up on our hammer sparks have them come out of security but yeah i'm just i'm not feeling it the extra delicate plan is kind of funny too maybe we'll, we'll work that in but Okay, uh, definitely not playing Jessmon. You get get out of my way. Uh, we'll slide everything uh, in here and we'll see what we can do. Um, having this extra XV Mon is interesting too. Maybe there's something to be done here. The extra Davis again is really nice, but we'll have to see. Uh, this is not the gangbusters I was hoping uh, would follow up after a very rough loss, but it's, uh, it's something, guys. So let me hop on over to the deck edit, and we'll see what we actually managed to throw together this week. Okay, so I changed my mind last minute. I decided that Jessamon deserves another go, and I think we might just have enough cards pulled to make it work this week, at least a little better than last time. Basically, all the fancy techs are gone, and instead I'm going to rely just on the two pillars of Jessmon and Gankumon. RIP Omnimon Ultra S. 
But hey, thanks to that splash of extra rookies and champions, I shouldn't get stuck in raising. And thanks to some more, should we say, proactive inheritables, I should be able to control the board a bit better as well. A Gankumon himself was actually a bit of a revelation for me because I realized that Pete's deck just isn't equipped to deal with Deep Digivolve. He plays his level 6s in such a low count and his good level 5s as well that if I can Deep Digivolve, for example, a Hercules Kabuterimon or a Mega Kabuterimon, I can basically stall him out while I just keep playing Sister Mons to eventually, you know, rush for game. Speaking of the sisters, I'm actually going to cut both Blanc and CL down to 3 ups. They do help, don't get me wrong, but I found them clogging up my hand before, and you know, they're obviously sitting ducks once Pete gets his perfect mega stack out. Yes, I need them for Jessmon and Gankumon to get their effects, but I think at a count of 6 total I'll definitely see them, and it's not like we have access to the blocker Sister Mon Blanc anyways, so hey, six generic sister mons is perfectly fine. Looking at some new inclusions here, this gray mon from set 1.5 is honestly kind of meh, but it's a red level 4 and it does at least have the added perk of being a security digimon. It doesn't do much else, but you know, a free body never hurts. Birdramon is here for its pretty useful inheritable, allowing me to pop 3000 dp or less digimon when I attack a player. Pete loves to bum rush me with rookies, so this should in theory provide a decent countermeasure. And Aquilamon is basically just a worse Birdramon, allowing me to pop 2000 DP bodies whenever I attack, generally. So this is really only going to nab Tentomons and the like, but you know, it'll, it'll get the job done. And finally, I am teching in one copy of Crimson Blaze because I just really hate getting Rookie Rushed, and this will give me an easy and potentially cheap way to deal with the wide boards that Pete likes to employ sometimes. Now, is this much better than the two starter deck build? I mean, no, not really, but it means I can at least play the game this time and not have Pete completely steamroll me, despite the fact that I'm playing a way more power creep deck than he is. Uh, Jessmon is just such a good card that I, I know I can make this work if I can get to him. <laughs> if I can get to Jessmon and Gankumon quick enough, then yes, we, we totally have it in the bag. Now, let's jump into the match and see if we can get our revenge. Okay, well, diving into game one, Pete and I have a decently aggressive start on both sides. I come out of raising pretty early on as it becomes readily apparent that Pete intends to bum rush me with a bunch of rookies and champions. What's new? Stalling him with a big blocker, Pete continues to go wide and actually ends up building up a board of blockers himself. So at this point I know the rush is coming, but I don't quite have the pieces to deal with it entirely. Crimson Blaze is a one-off after all. So, evolving up into Jessmon, the best I can do is force the block and take one body off the board while playing out a Sistermon to dig for the Royal Knight that I really need in this situation. Pete retaliates in typical fashion, dropping the Electroshocker and bouncing my Mega back to hand. Thankfully, I can buy enough time to get back up into a Mega, and this time I am going to go with Gankumon to play a little bit of board control. A Gankumon D digivolves pretty much his entire field, puts a body on board, and then manages to pop another one thanks to Bergermon's inheritable effect. Pete tries to rebuild into a Mega, but at this point, as long as I can keep cycling Sistermons, I can just D digivolve and clear his stack without too much trouble. And you know, from there, I have enough of a board of mass that I'm able to just swing in and take game one. A game two brings back a lot of, um, shall we say fond memories? There's a lot of stack building back and forth, and of course, Pete gets to his mega first in the raising, which has me, of course, cowering in the back, with the exception of a sister mom Blanc, once again set out as bait. Pete eventually promotes his big bug and naturally swings over my sister mom, taking a huge chunk out of my security and revealing two royal knights that I was just, I was desperately digging for, you know? And to add insult to injury, Pete begins building up towards a second Hercules Kabuterimon. So yeah, it's time for a miracle or something. Thankfully, I have that miracle up my sleeve. I promote and digivolve into Gankumon, triggering its effect to play a Sistermon CL and D-Digivolve two of Pete's stacks. 
Now he's in a much less threatening position and I can basically start picking his board apart. Things snowball out of hand pretty quickly and I've basically got an army ready to wipe out Pete in one fell swoop. I'm riding pretty high at this point, but then Pete says this. One second while I do some maths. Yes. And I have three security if that factors into the calculation here. You have f five fucking Digimon to play. Um, I do. <laughs> I mean, are you asking because you have the Death X Mon in hand? <laughs> don't, don't do that to me, Pete. Just throw it down if you got it. Maths is hard. No! <laughs> he drops a Death X Mon on me. He drops a Death X Mon on me. My board goes up in flames. I fumble around in shock for a bit, and I will spare you the bloody details, but basically game two ends like this. That's a top deck. That's a top deck. Hybrid. Hybrid. Ah. Uh, yeah. Damn. <sighs> game three starts out a bit of an anticlimactic mess. It's pretty apparent that neither Pete nor I have great hands at the outset, and I actually have to promote out of the raising area pretty early and slam down to Sistermon to try and dig for something better. Pete clears my Huckmon, leaving me in pretty dire straits, but no Hercules Kabuterimon comes down, so I think I have a shot. Sadly, I have absolutely nothing in hand, so I'm forced to hard play a Volcanomon, thankfully snapping Pete's memory over to three after popping my memory boost. But, you know, three is still plenty of memory if you're going to go and try to ruin my day. But he doesn't. Pete actually just swarms the board, threatening to go in for the big bum rush on his next turn. So with my Volcano Mon surviving, I'm able to go up into Gankumon and start playing board control. I also drop a Solar Mon because, well, a Death X Mon is a card, ladies and gentlemen, and I cannot play as if it doesn't exist. On Pete's turn, he commences the big rush, and he's actually able to get me down to a single security, but at that point, he basically runs out of gas. And really, at this point, I've got a decent enough board on my side, so, you know, I just start swinging in. And despite one particularly annoying option in security, I still have more than enough bodies to clear his security and go for game. Ladies and gents, we won, but oh my god, Death X Mon changes everything. I just, I know I was going to absolutely dominate game two, but as soon as he dropped that card, all my hopes and dreams just kind of went away. So I know that I have no answers to that card outside of Solo Mon, but obviously I'm not trying to play Jess Mon long term. I'm not trying to play Red long term. So... As I was saying last week, I just, I just don't know what to do. Susanomon was scary in its own right, but it takes work to get up into Susanomon. The Death X Mon, on the other hand, well, you can drop that shit whenever you want. It's basically just a big option card on legs. So yeah, I, I just don't know what to do. Again, <laughs> I kind of have to scrap Jessmon going forward because. Even with Solarmon, I'm just not comfortable spamming a billion Sistermons onto the board, and even if I bump Solarmon up to, let's say, a four count, there's just no guarantee that I'll see it all the time, and Pete, of course, has plenty of opportunities to clear small bodies, and then play the Death X Mon. But on the other hand, my Imperial All Force Soup is just not there yet, and also has no answers for Death X Mon. Like, I literally cannot deal with anything above level six, with the removal spells that I have access to outside of some very jank situations. So yeah, yikes. My options are pretty limited, but you know, now that I think about it, I just might have something stupid but potentially revolutionary up my sleeve. This might sound a little bit pessimistic, but if I'm gonna lose next week, I'm at least gonna go down in style. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, ladies and gents. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy.